everyone. Our first shell find today is going to be our snakehead cowrie. There we go. I find plenty of snakeheads at this beach. A little bit worn away on top, but hey, that's a nice enough one to start us off with. Ooh, looks like our next shell find is going to be, well, I was going to say a blue cowrie, but the, uh, the underside of it looks a little bit different than I'm used to for a blue cowrie. Still, I think that's probably what it is. That's quite nice. And what's this limpet? My limpet lovers out there, where are you? There we go, nice limpet. Gosh, I almost missed that one. Look at that. Little, uh, little flat sand snail. I'm finding a lot of these like really like dark brown chocolatey colored sand snails here. Absolutely love them. That's a very, very nicely sized one. Gosh, gosh, what's this? Like the fourth shell find? My goodness, the fourth one is going to be, yep, empty. This very, very pretty little cat cowrie. It still has some of its brown spots on top of it too. So yeah, that's quite a nice one. What? Look at that pretty gun just sitting right there. Yep, it's got the tip. Wow, look at that. It's got so much black on it. What a cool little cone shell. I almost didn't think it was a crown cone. Ooh, very happy with that one. But oh my goodness, look at that. It's a teeny tiny little broken Gaia Triton. Gosh, even though it's broken, I like that. That's super pretty, wow. Second Gaia Triton. Uh, the first one I found at Coolum is, was pretty much pretty close to here too, wow. Gosh, just another very pretty little crown cone. Yep, that one's empty, got it before the wave hit. Ooh, just. I just love the crown cones here. They're so much nicer than Point Cartwright. Ooh, let's just, let's just, ooh, it's double deep, mate. Ooh, stretch. Ooh, uh, come on, come on. Ooh, 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 it's two joined together. Um, I'm sorry, whoever is in there. Um, um, I want both of these shells, but something's going on. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, um, okay, did you guys just see that? Krabby is in this shell. It was pulling a rock out of the green shell. I mean, I kind of wanted the green shell more, so we'll put Mr. Krabby back and I'll keep the green shell to have a look at. Ooh, this one's a cool one. This is probably like the better one out of the two. Yeah, some kind of hairy triton shell. Uh, I mean, that's my guess. Wow, I like that. There's a perfectly lovely looking snakehead over there. Ooh, the water's a bit deep. Ooh, is it alive or empty? Oh my goodness, grab it. Oh, it's empty because it's no stickingness. Oh, wait, is it empty? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, just rocks and sand in there. Gosh, that one feels very nice. That could be like a, a glossy gem. Just feeling that, that feels so good. Forgive me, I was at first looking at this white cone and then I just thought this was a rock, but of course it's not a rock. Look at this. <gasps> My goodness, are you, oh, it's not sticking. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look at how massive this Arabian is. Gosh, gosh, I think that might be my biggest one ever. Holy God, that's a very, very nice shell. Oh, wow. I actually, I don't see an octopus, uh, like a predator drill hole in it anywhere. Wow, that's probably my nicest Arabian from Kulum. Oh my God, I'm so excited. That's so amazing. Oh, oh, I forgot about the white cone. Oh, there we go. Ooh, what have we got? Empty, yes. Oh, it's actually quite nice. It's like one of those white ones with a purple tip, but it's also got some brown around the side of it. Very nice. And, and very nice Arabian. Oh, a nice little cowrie right there. What I would usually call a gray cowrie. Not really sure about their names. And a, oh, a cat cowrie. And a snakehead cowrie. Wow, what a bunch of nice ones. Ooh, that's a bit of an interesting clam or, or oyster shell. Yeah, that's really nice. Wow, I do see some nice ones in here, first of all. Oh, 
Oh, yep, a nice snake head. Looks very pretty. A nice little uh, brown cowrie. I mean, I'm calling it a brown cowrie. I don't know if that's its actual name. Some kind of a, uh, uh, I don't know, some kind of other cowrie. And another snake head cowrie. Wow. All together, ooh, this one's kind of nice. A bit of a younger one, I think. Very, very cool. Oh, a very pretty crown cone. Ooh, yeah, that one's quite nice. Love, love, love in the crown cones here. That possibly a zebra volute and possibly hold. Oh, whoa! Wow, look at that cool zebra volute. It's got the tip and everything. Wow. I swear I haven't found a zebra volute in what feels like, I don't know, like three weeks and bam, gosh, that's a lovely one. I find some very pretty snakeheads here. Oh yeah, another super duper nice snakehead. Oh my gosh, look at that pretty orange crown cone. Wow, that's such a pretty one. Oh, it's missing its tip, but that's fine. Look at the nice pattern on the side. That's an awesome little cone. Oh, I see possibly a spotted prickly droop. Oh, it is a spotted prickly droop. Wow, that one looks nice enough. Gosh, that's like a, my second one in two visits to Coolum. That's really, really cool. They're kind of an un uncommon find for me, so whenever I can get them, I'm super happy about it. I nearly overlooked it. Right down there, I see a wandering cowrie. Um, I found one last time too. This one looks also very, very fresh. Fingers crossed. It's empty. It's, oh, I kind of suspected, yeah. This one's a live one. He's got a goopy boy in him. That is a very, very beautiful cowrie. Well, he goes right back down where I got him from. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, I think I see a sneaky roaster in there. Is that my first one for the day? Oh, pop it out the top. Yep, there we go. Wow, a bit worn away, but yep, a roaster number one. I don't usually pick up those snail shells, but that one looks quite nice. Let's just ooh, get myself over there without slipping. Ooh, yeah, that one's empty. I bet that would clean up very nice. Usually the tips get worn away on these pretty quickly, but yeah, I like the look of that one. After I picked up the big snail boy, I see the little version of it. So yeah, they, they kind of start out like this. Wow, this one's point is very nice. I believe it's empty. Gosh, that is a nice one of these snails. There's something black and white poking out there. Maybe a cowrie? Maybe it's, ooh, it's a bit stuck. Ooh. Come on. Oh, I'm, uh, it's a limpet and I'm losing it, I think. No, it's a cowrie. Oh, wow, look at that one. It's a cat cowrie. But boy, it's got all of those nice little like brown dots on it. See, usually I find them and they've worn away all their brown dots, but yeah, this one's a really fresh one. Gosh, that's nice. What is this little limpet in the sand? It's, oh, that's kind of unusual. It's got like a, a really big center ring. A bit different than the other ones I might typically find. That's kind of a pretty shell down there, this orange one. Ooh, doesn't look um, occupied. Wow, I think that's just another really tiny type of a uh, Triton? I'm not really sure, but hey, that's pretty cool. Now that does look like a very pretty limpet. And you know how I feel about limpets, guys. If I think it's pretty, for sure it is pretty. Wow, what a really, really cool one. Yep, just love black and white shells no matter what they are. There we go, I just picked up a handful of teeny tiny shells from down there. Limpets always look quite nice when they're little ones. Oh my God, right on the rack line, I don't believe it. I was, I was looking for another wet until trap, <laughs> but instead look, a worm cone. 
There we go. It looks in uh, okay condition. It's certainly missing a bit of the tip, but wow. I always really love worm cones. That's a nice surprise. So I see these things a lot and they usually have some kind of like furry hair on the end of them. Not really sure what they are. Maybe some kind of limpet, but uh, yeah, just thought I'd pick it up and show you guys. Gosh, that's a very pretty little dove shell. I found quite a few nice dove shells here actually. Look at that, probably the last shell find today. A sizable auger shell with a bit of a hole in it. So here are the shell finds for today and if you have enjoyed them, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more. But for now, let's talk about a favourite and please let me know in the comments which one is your favourite too. I must say it was quite a surprise to find this big beautiful Arabian today, I'm not unhappy about that. It's not the favourite though, the favourite is probably going to be a toss up between this zebra volute, this little black triton. Well I somehow lost the footage of finding this so uh, here it is again. And okay okay for real the favourite. It has to be this beautiful little cat calorie that I found uh, kind of under a rock and it's just in gorgeous condition. It could be gem, I'm not really sure. It's certainly nice and shiny. So this one is for sure the favorite for today. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye guys.